this. You need a tripod for that little puppy. Uh, so Here. bear with me. I'm going to Josh. get into this and come back. Give me a second, everybody. Here. A tripod for this. Yeah. You gotta fiddle around with it a bit. To get it the right way. Okay. Don't swear on my channel. I'm trying to get monetized. No swearing. Well, I'll try not to. I'm not monetized yet, so it won't matter. Can I say shit, son? Yeah. <laughs> no cursing. Hey guys, sorry. I started this live. I press live. I got four viewers, and I'm still showing Josh how to set something up. <laughs> sorry. Anyway, that should open wide mouth with your oh your bonus. So there you go. Then you gotta play with it a bit, that's all. Anyway, hey Jeremy. I am at I'm I'm not even sure where the camera is right now. I, I see it over there. Julia, hey. I'm at Josh's. I'm up in Fort McMurray for work. And I came by to see his lovely new place and his fancy whiskey collection. Do you see his his bourbon bar behind me or his Jack Daniels barrel sink? Right? And then all that whiskey, we can't. I can't show it all to you. There's just too much, and it's uh, all over the place here. So we are uh, trying our best. He's going to open up a bottle for me. Um, batch one, I, I picked out of his cabinet of uh, single. I can't get. I'm not so used to the camera being so far away, but it is a Eau Claire distillery. It's actually out of Calgary, I believe. It is batch one. It's Alberta, Canada, and it is 100% Alberta barley non-chill filtered. It is 43% ABV, and we are going for it. But I need Josh. Hold up that bottle for me there. This bottle right here? Yeah, hold it down a little bit. There you go. There we go, boys and girls. And a bunch of people's property. Kristen, there we go. Right on. We'll be able to see their comments, but cool. We won't be able to see your comments, but uh, we're going to be drinking. We're going to have a drink or two before I, I stuck in camp for two to six weeks to eight weeks. But should I share something with Know Your Whiskey? He was whining a bit earlier. I'm curious. Well, it, we'll start with one he wasn't whining about. Oh, there it is. I haven't tasted this yet. This is the new fine oak. Nice. The triple cask. Triple cask and the small print fine oak. And it's one. I was kind of rushing. Not rushing. I was rushing, not rushing. Um, nice. I have the double cask with the 43% as well. And. Ooh. The other thing I'm here for is because Josh <laughs> has to keep my whiskey here <laughs> mm -hmm. because oh, no. I go to a dry camp and I'm not allowed to have it there. And if they search the vehicle or whatever, you can get in trouble for that stuff. So we'll put this back here on this fancy cabinet. It's pretty fancy back here, buddy. Thanks. This man. is everything you recovered after losing how many bottles in a fire? Uh, probably about 200. 200 bottles in the forest fires of Alberta. Of Fort McMurray. Brutal. But here Brutal. we are. Dr. Ragland, how are you? Right on. Well, when do you want to try that? Well, um, maybe we could warm our palate. Sure. With some I'm willing to warm my palate. McKellen, maybe? And then we'll see this, or would you want to taste this first? What do you think? Uh, it don't matter to me. I can taste. Well, let's open it first. All right. Let's open it and let it breathe. Dry camp, yeah, it can be. I don't mind going dry for a while. And I'm on days now. They were, were bringing me up here nights, uh, Jeremy. So I can go. Um, and uh, into town and have a dinner and a beer or whatever and come back if I want. So it's all good that way. How long does it take to open up a bottle in this house? Rudo. I am telling you. I might have to pour a different bottle of you. It takes forever doing that one. Ooh. Look at that. Crack, crack, crack. Oh, there you go. Look at that. Look at that. So here we go. Which uh, which class are you feeling? I don't know. I've never tried one of these. Oh, there it is. 
I never tried one of these either. I've never so. tried one. You've never tried that yet? Nope. Brand oh, new. buddy. First I, time. First time. Ju Julie and I tried that at a, a whiskey tasting fundraiser. It's good stuff, man. And too, ba too bad you can't buy it anymore. We'll keep it with the tasting. Uh, yeah. Course. What do they call this class? Anything uh, fancy? Yeah, some kind of German name that I cannot pronounce. Oh. Good. What it what that what that is, Jeremy is. It's from the Eau Claire Distillery down in Calgary. It is Eau Claire Market, I think. Is is that what they call it, Eau Claire? Because they're in the market. It yeah. is a single malt from Alberta, one hundred percent Alberta barley. Yep, and uh, Caitlin Quinn is the uh, one of the master distillers uh there's a lot of female master distillers eh? and and you know one of the favorite ones that i hope to be able to i actually have an in now is the original 16 the beer from saskatchewan her name is amanda butt guess where she's from don't say it she is. She's from your motherland, <laughs> the mother Newfoundland. Land, the Just mother. so you all know, I'm up here in the capital of Newfoundland right now, Fort McMurray, Alberta. <laughs> the uh, but I want to see meet her and I want to talk to them because I think that there could be some phenomenal uh, stuff going on. That's light, man. So yeah, it is. It's got a different nose to it, eh? Well, this is—is is this made in Turner Valley, Alberta? Yeah. Not, not right in Calgary. Okay, no. I thought there's a market in Calgary called the Eau Claire Market. Caitlin's Canadian too. She's born in Winnipeg. Yeah. This uh, girl for the original sixteen beer is uh, trained in Scotland as well. Part mm. of her, part Caitlin of her background. She moved to uh, Scotland when she was a young girl with her family. Went to uh, mm. university and uh, came back and tried to. Spread the whiskey joy here in Alberta. And we thank her. I get a little bit of cinnamon, not a lot. Pretty youthful. Very youthful, yeah. But got that eucalyptus kind of kind of. Yeah, feel. I would give that a little menthol kind of. Yeah. She's not hard though. She's not burning. Like no. it's not youthful burning that way. How you doing, bourbon shenanigans? Um, I didn't bring any bourbon. I don't know. I know a guy that has some bourbon, but bourbon for days. Bourbon for days. Got the toasted barrel. Oh yeah, fourteen. I have a open bottle of that at home too, man. Yeah. Julia finished off my whole bottle of, of uh, Glen Karen nineteen year old, Glen Dronic nineteen year old yesterday. I like this glass, and I like stamps. Yeah. Right. This is one of my favorite. This is my favorite though, my favorite class, man. Yeah, Eric Wheat called that's a they call it a competition glass, mm -hmm. basically is what he calls it. Everyone makes fun of me for Yeah, you get in there deep, eh? Sticking my nose in there. Yeah. You got somebody here. Put that with your stuff. Okay. It's mm -hmm. a busy, this is a busy, this is a busy place. Yeah, it's under construction. <laughs> Outside. Yeah, this is a brand new house built after the fires that burnt everything down up here in Beacon Hill of um, Fort McMurray. It was a massive fire, man. You really don't realize how bad that forest fire was until you see some of the videos that people were making when they were trying to drive out of here and watching sparks and everything landed on their vehicles, man. It's pretty crazy. It was. It was raining fire. Literally. Swami, thanks for coming in, buddy. Sorry that I had to jump in there, but I need to, I need to do this for for my buddy Josh, and I because I got a short term uh, time to get into camp and get some sleep and go to work tomorrow for a new position that I'm working at. I'm willing to bet he's going to show up in my class. He, I hope so, because I am going to freaking harass him so long. I've been going to this plant before he even knew what safety was. I got an answer for that too. Stay tuned. <laughs> <laughs> and they always make safety teachers out of the worst examples. Absolutely. I can tell you what not to do. That's a guarantee. Exactly. <laughs> you see that all the time. 
Thanks, buddy. I mean, we're all kind of jumping in. Hey, the Mash and Drum is brand new guy. How you doing, man? Brand new guy. Cheers. Richie Z from California. How Richie. you doing? Yeah, you know Richie here. Richie. Can you see these? Can you see the? Uh, hey, buddy. I can pop this up here and make it even bigger so that that Josh can see. Can you see that? Man, yeah, I'm make... telling you, you got to turn that brightness way up. Brightness. Yep. I don't think I know where that is yet. Brand new computer. Oh, wait a minute. I can crank the brightness up there. Is that better? Oh, that's beautiful. Remember, I'm not charged. I got 66% battery. So if I panic looking for a uh, I see a plug right there. Gorgeous. I had to help fight the fire in Sheep River Sanctuary back in the 80s. We used to meet in Turner Valley. Ah, well, this oh, whiskey man. is from Turner, from Turner Valley. Valley. Peter White. Alberta's first single malt whiskey. Alberta's first single malt. And that's actually, actually difficult to see. You'll check it out. Actually, if you set it Instagram. there, they could probably, anywhere on that table, they can still see it. Huh? Oh, no, someone is home. It's my wife. Yes, the wife is here. She's keeping an eye on us, making sure we're not getting into too many shenanigans. You uh, the riff may have rap. seen her on my Instagram. Oh, yeah, you'd see her. My drunken, well, nothing really, just drinking. Just getting drunk sometimes. That's, that's phenomenal, actually. I think that's going to open up beautifully. Mm -hmm. It's it's useful, but I think that partially because mm. when I tried it, it, it was a bottle that was open at the tasting, so it'd been open for a while, right? Yeah. And bang, can't can't buy it anymore. Wait, wait, you want to get into that? Yep, I have one of these to spare, so maybe uh, I owe a couple people with some samples of this one. Yeah. 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 I don't know if I'm ready to bring this bottle. <laughs> I'm just looking at you. Let's do it. Okay. I, th I think you want to try that one first. Okay. Let's um, let's do a joint camera. I'm a, oh, in a Glen Karen. Hmm. That's good stuff. What is the ABV on it again? 40, 43. 43? Yeah, 43. Yeah, that's good. And I like these glasses, actually. I love them. I'm going to have to get some. Jason Whiskey Wise has one very similar to this. Might even be the same one, but it's a nice glass. All right, so this is the McAllen's from, as I say, it has no French on the label. So if it's shipped to Canada, it usually has to be bilingual. This one doesn't. It was it was uh, specially ordered from from the spirit buyer, but he also brought in some of the double cast. Now the difference with Canada is that they're three percent less ABV for here in the UK, um, and we blame that on Toronto. I've been told that the uh, what we get through mostly here. everything except us yeah but but that affects the the oh, mccallums and the balvinis that we get the three percent abv is crucial it, it, it makes a difference yeah. it makes a difference a big Sometimes. difference they're only getting it because they're buying it cheaper but this is very just very very much uh fine oak it reminds me of the fine oak, which is what they're calling it, but they put it in smaller print underneath the triple cask. Mm, not bad. I think it's pretty good. Man, that's nice. It is, yeah. Yeah. The sherry in it, though, is, I mean, it's there, especially in the nose, but not not a sherry bomb, even though it's. No, not by no means. It says it's aged in seasoned, yeah. American and European seasoned oak. I get, like, uh, peach pit. How many are we going to sample? Hey, as many as it takes, man. Yeah, probably around uh, 14. Yeah, they got Uber out to the camp. Don't 17. worry about it. <laughs> hey, loads of room. He's got room down there, too. Loads I don't room. have to. Yeah. There's a full basement suite. Man, for they, get a little, they get a little testy when I don't show up and do the ID check and all that other stuff. Mm. That's nice, man. You like that? Yep. 43% triple cask, matured, fine oak. 
An exquisite marriage of whiskey matured and European American sherry season oak cask and ex bourbon American oak cask. Natural color. So it's almost it's identical to the way they describe the fine oak. Yep. In the past. And if I had the double cast here, the double cast is actually darker in color than this. And I should do an opening and compare them together. I got a 12 year old sherry, maybe one day we could uh, yeah. compare. I have a 12 year old sherry too, but I never it's opened it. It's beautiful. Myself. It's beautiful. The one thing about Josh, he opens everything. And one of his favorite lines that I hear him use is it's not whiskey until you it's drink consumed, it. It's man. Yep. Yeah, whiskey's nothing until it's consumed, guys. So tell people how they can find you right now. You got Instagram? Mainly, yeah, mainly it's going to be Instagram. Know your whiskey, whiskey without the E. We're in Canada. I'll get into that later. Um, <laughs> yeah, we can argue about that all day long. Yeah, all day long. Uh, but yeah, check it out. Instagram's a place where I do mostly everything. Do a lot of giveaways and stuff. I'm trying to see what other people are thinking about the things that I'm drinking. Um, I always... And pretty fascinated with what captures other people's palates. So check it out on Instagram. And um, the YouTube is coming. It's Know Your Whiskey on YouTube as well. I'm just I'm just starting the YouTube. I'm just trying to learn the YouTube thing. It's a little bit new to me. This is an experiment. Yeah. Know Your Whiskey, Instagram. That's the place to be right now. Yep. And uh, later, the YouTube will be coming as well, Know Your Whiskey. Very good. Now, yeah. There's something you're doing this month or next month, is it? Yeah. It's a fundraiser for? Absolutely. It's the uh, SMS wine auction is coming up. It's a regular thing here in Fort McMurray. And uh, this year, the keg and corks involved is for the Big Brothers, Big Sisters with Buffalo. Mm -hmm. um, September 22nd, there's some tasting room tickets still available. Uh, man, I'd love for someone to uh, show up. And uh, and we could have a chat and have a drink. It would be amazing. There you go, whiskey, whiskey in the six. You should show up. Oh, it'd be lovely, man. I got to meet uh, whiskey in the six. I got to meet him in, in Toronto? Toronto. Yeah, it's excellent. Well, I want to give okay. this to you for your tasting. Ooh. for your for your fundraiser. No way. Yep. Oh hell yeah, that's gonna go over well. Wow, man. Hey, thanks so much, buddy. All right. Ben Reich, single malt, age twenty years old. You can look weird, at the bottle. Weird, Make weird, sure man. I got the right bottle in That's there. That's beautiful. Now I got to send someone in the sneakily bit on this so I can get it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, man. That's right up my alley. You can't bid on your own stuff? No. Julia says, I love your bar. Oh, thank you so much. I do too. And I think we should. That's gorgeous. One. Yeah, man. I love it. Yeah, do a little uh, research on it there. Oh, man. I'm ready. Malt Advocate 2007, Distillery of the Year. There you go. Mm, that's going to go over well. Hopefully somebody will like that. And if someone from Fort Max watching, you can now win this. Third age. Just bring your wallet. Bring your wallet, man. Hey, thanks so much, man. Oh, my God. No Cheers problem, to that, man. buddy. Cheers. I highly appreciate it, man. Welcome. Mm -mm -mm. And mm, Big Brothers, Big Sisters with Buffalo is going to appreciate it, too. Yeah. Yeah. Scotch Malt Whiskey Society is involved, Canada now. Yeah. Yeah, they want to mm -hmm. get involved next year. That's Thanks so much, guys. They're very helpful and, people, yeah. Yep, the whiskey community, uh, people talking about whiskey fabric all the time. You see it, man. Yeah. You just see it, man. It's, it is. I, I, I see tons of stuff everywhere. I mean. Yeah, man. I did not all, expect this. Well, I'm glad you like it. Oh, hell. I highly appreciate it. Yep. Yep. It's going to be a good one, I think. Yeah, I'm very excited. Now. You can bid them, bid them, bid them big on that. Don't let them go cheap. Oh, buddy, I, uh, I'm not. Up. You ready to share another dram? Oh, absolutely. We're gonna move on here and have another dram with my favorite glass. <gasps> he bought it. Here it is. The new. I had to open this up in the store, and uh, you guys might have saw that show I did. But we opened her up with Dave and some of the staff at the Cake and Cork. So. I buy a lot of stuff from the Cake and Cork, and I buy a lot of stuff from Chateau Louis. They are the two places that have, and their staff is knowledgeable. I think Josh can confirm this. When we go to a lot of other liquor stores, the chain ones, we could ask Julia, I'll spend an hour in there educating their staff. I've had them, oh, man, I wish you'd come back. I, mm -hmm. You know, you ever get that experience? Yeah, yeah. 
Yep. They're like, wow, I didn't know that. You know, you simply ask them, you know, what does the word single mean in the single malt? Like, uh, I don't know. Yeah, it's a job, right? It is. It's, it, I mean, it, it's, it's, it's phenomenal. A, with with those other cats, Keg and Cork, like I can't praise them enough for what they're doing for the big brothers, big sisters here. Oh, yeah. They're I can't very, praise them enough. They're very helpful. Yeah. Uh, man, you go in there and they're your buddies. And everybody's just talking about whiskey and drinking fine whiskey. Yeah. Taste it a little bit before you buy it. You know what I mean? Excellent. It's beautiful. Yeah. They have a very, first of all, they have a nice, they probably were the first guys, even before the big conglomerates, had um, um, a growler bar, mm -hmm. right? And behind that growler bar is a pretty good sample selection of whiskey, right? If you're uh, into beer, Das Cooler. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Das Cooler. That's what oh, they call their beer cooler, man, Das Cooler. Go to the beer cooler. Yeah. If you are a beer guy, go in there and try it out. Yeah. You're like a good whiskey book to read, huh, <laughs> Julia? I think you're just flirting with me. I think you are getting everybody else going here. Ooh, we got awesome. Thank you, Bourbon Shenanigans. Uh, ooh, the Muse. Yes, we're waiting for Josh to pour some. Oh, I'm pouring it. Yeah. Now, yeah. all of this stuff is staying at Josh's. Oh, no. I'm and taking I'm not, pictures of and it, And I'm too. pretty sure that he, he'll, he'll have a nip here and there and, and share with his buddy and so forth. So, Uh-oh. What is it that Scott's test on me say? Chupacabra. That was a big pour, man. No, that's good, man. Pour, pour a big one. Does does the uh, does the does the redhead wife like to have some? She does not. No, oh, no. smart. No. That's my dog in the background, by the way, everybody. Yeah, he's the good guard dog. I think he saw a mosquito. I'm very excited, and this is my favorite glass. I love that glass. Yeah, I think I want to finish this off first. Not my favorite. Well, but just sure tempted to open up that 20 year old Ben Rick. Oh man, I wish that was in my <laughs> collection. <laughs> nope, that's why we did we gave it to him live so that everybody could see it. Mm -hmm. Know that it has to go into the charity fund. Don't let people tell you not to put your nose in, get your nose in there. Don't nobody, let, nobody ever tells Swami not to put his nose in, good. man. That guy gets his nose Swami, in there. You check out if you haven't you, man. malted in Montreal. That guy, he guys, I'm following like four people on on YouTube. I'm trying, but hey, if you send me your uh, tag or whatever you call it on YouTube, sorry guys. Yeah, yeah, you go ahead. Tag, yeah, YouTube name. Send it to me. I'll be right. happy to follow you guys. Yep, malted in Montreal. I'm still learning. When Swami knows us something. I swear, if he's doing a Glen Cairn glass, Swami, you're gonna suck that etching of the Glen Cairn. I swear, he's gonna snort that stem yes, right out of the glass. Don't let anyone tell you how to enjoy your whiskey. That's yours. Mm -mm -mm. That's nice. Hey, Richie, stop flirting with Julia, okay? Oh, <laughs> joke. I got to throw in the comments here every once in a while. Hey, hey, Mash and Drum. Mash and Drum, check him out. He's doing a real good job, man. Oh, my God. I'm having an experience right oh, now. Oh, yeah? You enjoying that? I'm enjoying it a lot more than I anticipated. Mm-hmm. The nose is misleading. The nose is great. Don't get me wrong. You know, those uh, the spiciness of those, uh, those type of grains, right? Yeah. It is gorgeous and it can happen all day long really the best part about this glass is you actually take a sip and nose at the same time oh, this glass beautiful. now this man you you get that sweetness on the nose but it's different on the palate it's vibrant sweet yep yeah i guess sweet instantly yeah right as soon as i as i tasted it and then you get kind of a rye, maybe spice. And here's the I mean? here's the nice thing is, is Josh provides a little coffee inhalant. Mm -hmm. A little cleanser. Are you sure that's coffee? It smells a little bit like cigars. Uh, I uh, there was a sale on cigars. Today. I saw that you were just packing your humidor like freaking yeah, pack, man. <laughs> I don't smoke cigars, but he was packing her. <laughs> Um, Richie wants to know if you like the regular hedonism. 
I do. I actually, um, again, if you're Instagram cats, if you do the Instagram dance, I posted a, a picture a little while ago. I was smoking some cigars. There was three little, uh, three little samplers of compass box and the hedonism was, uh, was one of those. Yeah. I love it. The original, I have, yeah, the original, I have a, so an old, old, hedonism. yeah, one of the yeah. old ones, the eh? old box and an old, several old ones. Um, Different box, different. There's labels. a hedonism, the quindecimus as well. I don't know if you had. That. I gorgeous. I, I yeah no gorgeous uh, whiskey. I posted though. Just no, I didn't post it. I missed it, but I sent it to uh, tonight's poison, another YouTuber guy. I sent um, I sent him a picture of my compass box collection. So I have one in there that I have not seen anyone post. So. Hey, Brawlock, how you doing? Whiskey Brawlock. You like that sink? That is his sink. We, You know what? I should do a little maneuver here so you guys can see. It might not be his sink. It might actually be the wife's sink. Mm -hmm. uh, no, it is. It is phenomenal. Tell me where the screen going and how I'm doing. Now you're looking at the camera. Yeah, it's pretty good. Right, yeah. and this isn't even a touch of what this guy's been collecting and hiding. There is some hiding. There is some hiding. How are you still square? That's pretty good, man. Yeah, yeah. That's good right there. Yeah. There's some stuff, man. People haven't even seen. No, and and it's just uh, bunkered. Yeah, but I'm doing a contest on Instagram pretty soon. Okay. So um, I'll spread it to YouTube. Like, I just if I if I could figure out how. But, well, I uh, think when you get your YouTube channel, you put your YouTube link on Instagram. Yeah, and, yeah. and then just do it that way. Yeah. I don't and think my you YouTube can... link is on Instagram now, but yeah. there's only like one or two videos on there. Right. Yeah. And you're known as Know Your Whiskey. Know Your Whiskey. K N O W. Know Your Whiskey. Right. Hey, Whiskey in the Six. I'm here with your buddy. Rob. You know who? You want me to say his name? Right on, Rob. You know what's Josh. You replaced me with Josh. I know the story now. Josh told me everything. Because Josh is going to go up behind here and pull down a Glen Goyan 17 that he has open and let me have a little oh, sip of it. Oh, that would actually be my pleasure, really. He loves to share. Oh, dude, I, love, I, I, I want to know what people are thinking about the whiskey I'm enjoying. But yeah. I'm really enjoying this. Isn't that great? Yeah. Well, I like let's that get one. that poured. Okay. We're never going to run out of glasses here, boys. No. And later, you should show those three little bottles you got sitting on your uh, island there. And I see you have some of the actual, the source water. Do you think it makes a difference? No. No? No, it's just a little fun it's just, novelty. It's, it's a novelty yeah, gimmick. It's yeah, it's super fun. Like you put your Highland whiskey in with the Highland waters. It's warm. Yeah. That's it, Has anybody ever checked that out, the source? It, it, they They... They bring Highland water, Speyside water, and Eiley water. And you can put that into your specific whiskeys to see if it does it in the spring water, obviously, right? Ah, better glass. It is uh, discontinued. I believe you're right, Richie. The 12, uh, 17? Yep. Yeah, 2012. But they ever once in a while, the way the Liquor Connect works in Alberta, things show up out of the blue that have been like weird things lost in the warehouse so to speak the first in first out doesn't technically happen so here the system is um, yeah not too much is uh sorry <laughs> last in first out here most yeah. of the time <laughs> yeah yep yeah. they do a very good job i've talked to some people and they do a phenomenal job so, 17-year-old Glenn Goyan, last put out in 2012. Is that right? Yeah, I, I believe so. Gorgeous. Gorgeous whiskey. Wow, is that ever... What is that done in? What's that finished in? Oh, that's the cherry. That definitely is. Oh, yeah, man. Glenn Goyan. It's almost a little sulfury. Uh, yeah, it's after. got sulfur in it for sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Did ever tell you guys uh, about being lit on fire? I was jackhammering out some 
tube sheets. I was an apprentice and all of a sudden there was a spark and I had a snake, a serpentine spiral of fire around me. I jump out the hole. The guy outside is laughing the head off at me. The journeyman. Scared. Talk about that safety boy. I would love to. It scared that but Jesus. Write it up for me. That's my story. Man. Oh, man. <laughs> They laughed. It was nothing. I mean, it happens all the time. It's minor. Even when you're jackhammering, you'll get little tiny puffs of blue flame and it's gone in like, you know, 10 seconds or less. But it scared me when you didn't know what it was and it just spiraled right around. I, I think I could. Here you are, man. Do you ever get to mix and stuff just That's for the, the fun? Of all the time. Yeah. Yep. You got an infinity bottle? No, I did. I did before the fire, but oh man, I yeah. was so sucked, man. <laughs> well, it is every time is. that fire would come up, man. Yeah. I'm like, I, I did have this, yeah. but that's okay because here we are, drinking the finest again, right? This guy, yeah. The muse. It's just Look at this. Oh yeah, but you don't get to try that one unless somebody you know buys it. Someone I know is absolutely one hundred percent gonna buy that. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Listen, I don't care what you got to bid. Yep. It's for charity, but yep. I get a taste of it. I want to tell some people some things that I feel about your wisdom glass. First of all, do yourself the favor. Go buy one of these nose and glass. Do yeah. that. This is um, Eric Wade. I asked him what one was because Julie and I were at a tasting <laughs> and she put these glasses we had from the tasting in her purse and brought them home. Ooh. She thought they were like any other tasting we were going to, <laughs> but she stole them. They weren't, they were not, they were not, uh, complimentary tasting Oops. glasses anyway um i had them one time when i was chatting with eric Waite, who Sessions is another nine youtuber tenth nine tenth of law. well i think that's in the states I don't yeah. know if that counts here. um and there calls them a competition glass right but beautiful they're a good glass people will sometimes say not to swirl your whiskey let it do a gentle stroll that's yeah. cool, man. Do you it. Can, you can do it. I mean, that's what I like to do. You can. I like to lay it down if possible. Yeah, if possible, and if not, roll it. Eh? Go it on and just roll it. And just roll it. Yeah, Dave, Dave from uh, Kagan Cork is like that too. He doesn't do. Actually, Dave, without knowing, was doing the Anaconda from Food Quake. I'm like, Dave, what you learn that? So I don't know. I just don't like to swirl or whatever. <laughs> I, I do a little. I like to. Well, that's maybe a little too fast. When you go slower, it allows more of the oil to linger on the walls. Yes, that's what I like. For the alcohol to evaporate a bit, you get a little bit more of those stronger uh, stronger flavors coming through. And when you add water, folks, try not swirling it. Add your water and then just taste it. Yes. Sometimes you can feel the oils and the water kind of separate. It's lovely. Really. <laughs> Uh, I believe Whiskey Untitled is Josh. It's not, uh, it is both Josh and Charles, or pardon me, Charles. I'm sitting with Josh from Know Your Whiskey on Instagram right now in his brand new house. Cheers, folks. And uh, mm -hmm. Charles from Whiskey Untitled and Drinking Caveman. Drinking Just Caveman. Hey. Cool. Yep. Cool. And I, I do not have any tulip glasses, but I just tried this, and this is a phenomenal glass. Yeah. Riddell, Rydell, uh, you um, say it's a German name? They're very uh, expensive if it is one of those brands. Spinglu or... Oh, okay. Different I can't name. remember. Some of them can, out, yeah. they outprice themselves. There's a bunch of different styles like that. I like that one. Whiskey and Title says he loves the new digs. He's hiding the best part, the Jack Daniels barrel that's the sink. There it is. It's good stuff. Copita tasting glasses. Yep, oh, that's, that's what one. that's what this is. Copita. Yep. Okay. Yep. Um, maybe that's what Eric Wade said, and I thought he said competition glass. You know, I'm not a good listener. Ask Julia. She knows. What's your thoughts on this? We like the legs. That is right. I love it, man. It's it's not. There's an earthy something about it. Like it's peated. Not peated, but it's got a tobacco a little bit. Yeah, maybe. tobacco. That's that's it. That's why I you know I don't think because I don't smoke tobacco and I don't think those ways, but the barrel sink looks epic. Josh, did you post a picture on Instagram of that yet? Not yet. I I I'm still pulling whiskey out, to tell you the truth, guys. 
I haven't physically gone to see it myself yet, but I saw in the Instagram live that we were doing the other day, him walking by and I'm pretty sure every box he walked by still had bottles in it. So that's <laughs> uh, fast. But as you know, if you do follow my Instagram, I'm on a journey to taste it all. And uh, it's probably going to kill me. But. Well, um, Jeremy, why didn't you send me a link to your first upload? What is this? Some type of a bromance with Rob? Jeremy, Just leave it there. I would love to watch your first upload. Yep, I would. And this Rob, is new to me. I, yeah. gotta send it to me, man. I don't know what. Josh doesn't doing. even know what upload means. <laughs> don't yeah, I'm not that bad, <laughs> but I'm, I'm pretty bad. Instagram, I got that figured out. You I do, do, you do, yeah. yeah well, you know that. what though, all of us, I don't think any of us have actually delved into the Instagram TV yet. We just no. keep doing lives. Yeah, but um, there is. I've something. been into it a little bit more lately. It's hard to get into. They're still figuring it out, but yeah, there were some issues. Yeah, there, there were some issues when we were just yeah. doing our live. Well, one minute he couldn't hear me, and then I couldn't hear him, and then yeah, it just went back and forth. That was actually kind of bummed me out that we lost Matt. Yeah, I tried to go live. It would Matt be like because he too. was not feeling any no, pain. Matt no, was on the Matt is a uh, un uh, unfermented. Say fine things. Fine, fermented. fine things. Fermented. Yeah, check him out on uh, Instagram. And he has his own blog. Yeah, he does a beer thing. He just tasted. Uh, he's about to taste two thousandth beer. His two thousandth beer. He yeah. is a beer sensei. Yeah. No, yeah. he's good, man. And he he's a member of the SMWS with us. Yep. Yeah, yep. he knows the stuff. He's yep. pretty good, man. Actually, I got a couple whiskey right there belonging him. Half open bottles. Uh, which is the Springbank uh, local barley and the oh, oh he's oh Octobre they're from him oh yes there's whiskey all I keep looking over here for my camera there's whiskey all over yeah, this house yeah, I don't know how Josh's wife puts up with it to tell you the truth we got a built-in dog wash that's how I am jealous <laughs> because Josh already has a background in media so he's way ahead of all of us by light years. Except maybe uh, whiskey untitled, mm -hmm. Scotch and sniff and drinking caveman. They putting out some pretty nice stuff, especially their photos on Instagram. Now, I gotta say this: Julia's got some pictures of some whiskey in in her new place. I don't know how she finds the light, but she sees the light, and it's just it's like a black table, and that whiskey and the sun hits it, and it's just a beam of whiskey coming down to the corner of the table. Is that the one I commented on? I think you might have, yeah. There was one. I was, I was on our story, I think, maybe. I don't yeah, know. Yeah. And I was just, you know, going through the stories as yeah. I do. And then I went back. Yeah. So I went back and I was like, oh, that's nice. Yeah. That's it's nice. Just, I don't know it's how you weird. do it. It's weird. And I gravitate towards the weird, man. It's a weird photo. Beautifully done. Check it out. Yep. She, she's, a, she's just dabbling right now. So you know, Charles. But you're right. She does. She got us all beat. And I love... Uh, on her YouTube channel, I love her her story of teachers, whiskey, and it's to do about her grandfather and her grandfather's medicine glass, right? He said, no touch grandpa's medicine glass. Nice. And she not, she didn't know anything about whiskey back then. She was a 12-year-old girl. That's on her YouTube? That's on her YouTube. Yeah, Julia, check it out. Say, if I'm not following you on YouTube, I'll punish send you. it to me. Like... Yeah, if you guys, I don't know. Can we does. share YouTube stuff or what? It's just Julia Photography underscore, um, and it's yeah. There's lots to figure out about some of that stuff. I'm still learning too, so don't feel bad, Josh. I'm an Instagram fella. This is new. I like Instagram, but I think Instagram and YouTube uh, work better together than Instagram or uh, YouTube and Twitter. I mean, when I do a YouTube video, it'll be posted on. But when you go to Twitter. And you see something and it's somebody's Instagram and I click on the thing there. It just Now I got to go through the whole process of opening it up. I uh, I like to I like to just be able to bang. I'm in Instagram. Bang. Yeah, there it is, that's right? why I love Instagram. So, it's one thumb, boom, 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 and everything you want there. Yeah, I like right? it. I it's like it. Super. Twitter yeah. is not my thing, guys. I'll be honest with you. I, I have Twitter. No see risky you. too wise, but I don't know what I'm doing. See you later, Swami. Thank you very much, Swami, buddy. Yeah. And uh, I loved your rum conversations and stuff. I'm I am going to get a hold of some rums. I have a couple rums already at home. I have one that is well. I like to use this rum in a whiskey tasting because 
a lot of people will think it's a whiskey. Is that right? Yeah. So, I have a, I'm not a fan of, of sweet, sugary rums. This yeah, is a dry rum. I was going to say, I like the dry rums, man. I yeah. do. I do. Yeah. Yeah. The other thing I did, which was kind of cool, is I had a tasting with one of the guys uh, when I was down in Moose Jaw that you guys saw me doing. I didn't record this. It was He, he was a guy helping me out, showing me how to set up my camera and whatnot. Anyway, he, um, I, got, I got four drinks blind, and one of them was a tequila. He didn't know it was a tequila. We've talked about the tequila before. It's blind bar or black barrel, mm -hmm. the hornitos mm -hmm. aged in whiskey barrels. Cool. Phenomenal. I'm ready. Yeah. You yep. need to try it. It's like 35 bucks and it's an AO. Let's do it. Right? Yeah. It's good stuff. Yep. Anyway, Swami had a great trip down there. Check out his little videos on YouTube. I will for sure. He did a little, and he's got a little quick video, four minutes long of, of him driving Route 66. Nice. On his motorbike, yeah. Do it up. You need a motorbike. I don't yeah. know, man. I'm pretty accident prone. Are you? No. Oh, yeah. That would explain why you're a safety titanium, officer. Titanium implants. Are you? Does that good? What What does that do when you go through the airport? Radar Airport's airport? good. Airport's Is good. It? Yeah, but the way I look, I usually get randomly chosen for yeah. secondary you screening look, anyway, yeah. right? Yeah, I would too. I, yeah. I every time. Out. Yeah. Yeah. It's when not I, so random if it's every time, though, is it? <laughs> I don't know. No, it's not really random. When I was in high school and shortly after that, I managed a comic book shop in the Maritimes. And one of the editors of Marvel Comics, I think he was an editor. I can't remember. Anyway, and I forget his name. But he had been in an accident and had lots of pins in his elbows and joints and different things. And so when he went through a metal detector, he would set it off at the airports. And this was way before any 9-11 stuff. This was when Gaddafi was the number one enemy of the North American state or, 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 or continent. And so he wore a fatigue, like, a, like an army jacket, and he wore an I love Gaddafi pin. And he would go through the metal detectors and set them off. And he just, back then, I mean, nowadays it would be, something else for that to go through oh, but man. but back then it was kind of more wasn't so bad there was no terrorism was probably not the big 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 word we use now but yeah i love i don't know who what would you wear this time i love who knows trump yeah but <laughs> i guess depending on hey you don't know you might get a pat on the back say yeah you can go yeah. <laughs> or you might get hey come over here we have a special room for you to sit in it just depends who the security guard was. Mm -hmm. um, okay, Josh, I'll send you a link, she said. Later, Swami. Swami, viewers, not too bad. I don't think I'm stepping on anyone's toes other than Whiskey in the Six. Were you trying to go live today? Well, I had to do it live today. Sorry. I wanted, I, nah, don't be sorry. Don't, nothing to apologize. Nobody owns this. That's, this, is, this isn't TSN, Jeremy. We can do whatever we want. This is YouTube. Josh hasn't even swore yet. And, oh, and listen, then movies can holy man. You wouldn't even know he's swearing at you. You'd think he's sweet talking you by yep. the time he was done. I yep. swear. Yep. You guys don't know. No. This I'm, gun going is phenomenal. Isn't it? Yeah. Isn't it? It's completely different, in my opinion, to the 18-year-old that replaced it. Yeah. Yeah. I can't remember what I have for Glenn going at home besides this one. Oh, I, I don't have this one. Sorry. I got uh, I got the 25 there. It's uh, getting down there, man. It's one of my favorites. Oh, man, that's good stuff. Gorgeous whiskey. This one's gorgeous, too. Uh, there's a bottle up, actually, at the SMS wine auction this year as well. Oh, is it? What? SMS? So that's uh, a company here in town. Is it? Yeah, they sponsor a wine auction every year. Uh, next year's the 10th year anniversary, and it's the 40th year anniversary for Big Brothers Big Sisters Wood Buffalo. Okay. Yeah, so it's a pretty big thing. Is that a big thing here? The Big Brothers and Big Sisters, like it's it. it there's this it, wine auction. Yeah, it's five hundred people. Like, is it? Yeah. Wow. There's a tasting room with limited tickets with wine and whiskey as well. So yeah, what is the what's the population? The first year we're doing whiskey too. Is it? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I've never done whiskey. That's why they approached me. They just oh. found me on Instagram. Yeah, that's a good. Drunken guy. Some drunk guy. Yeah. Now he's got a twenty-year-old Ben Riek. Oh. What's the oldest thing you have in the auction right now? Gotta be older than that. Um, no, no. We just got no. weird stuff. 
Weird stuff. Weird stuff, man, that you can't just go buy, right? Actually, go back to the um, Eau Claire. Yeah. Okay. This is what we started with, this Eau Claire here. Yeah. I don't know if you can see it. It's it's uh, Alberta single malt. First single malt in Alberta, batch one. He's got two bottles. I didn't even get one, dirt bag. This guy's got connections. You know, I mean, he's let me in on one connection, the sniper. Hashtag Scotch sniper. Scotch I was always sniper. my own Scotch sniper. And then I found like-minded individuals. And so now he, there are strategically he, placed Scotch snipers. Yeah, but he he turned them into minions. Yeah. They serve him now. <laughs> it's not the way I was working. I'm like, shut up, buy that bottle, and leave. I had so that that Ben Ryak. Oh, that's funny. When I first found those Ben Ryaks, somebody went into that store, and I guarantee they went. Oh, but you know what these are? Other stores, blah blah blah. No. And I'm like, I I Very lambasted funny. them, man. Yeah. I lambasted them. They didn't like it. They don't talk to me anymore. I'm like, shut your mouth. And Jeremy and Whiskey in the Six, shish. There's no whiskey in Alberta. Okay? None. It's going to bite you in the ass one day. That's all I'm saying. And I haven't even got into my fourth whiskey yet. What are we saying? Don't bash TSN. <laughs> so somebody on this chat works for TSN. Okay. Interesting. Yeah. Um, what, when is the auction? I want to buy stuff. Whiskey in the six. Can he bid without being here? No, it is an exclusive event. It's an exclusive event. Whiskey yeah. in the six. Sorry, buddy. However, I may know someone who may know someone who may there be you. willing to place bids on your behalf. There you go, buddy. Throw because of who you are. Actually, he's the guy and you were kind of told me to do this. There you go. Um, first of all, got to go. See you later, Jeremy. Thanks for coming in. Uh, he says he's going live Tuesday when I launch my channel. Check it out. We'll be drinking an epic bottle. So, Sipper Social Club on YouTube Tuesday next week. Check him out, right? Seriously, Jeremy knows some stuff. He's with the, um, what is it called? The Toronto Whiskey something or other. I don't know. I'm sorry, guys. I'm doing a Whiskey Wednesday show too, so I'd love to check out your Tuesday show. Yeah, he's that's his launch. Tuesday? Yeah. Excellent. He's gonna launch. I'll and and I saw his little setup, his studio. It it almost looks as good as Josh's backdrop here. Almost. No. <laughs> almost, no. yeah. Um Brawlock Whiskey says Josh, no videos on YouTube yet? Question mark. I think I might have two. two of Maybe. You? Yeah, he is totally new to this. He's kind of learning how everything works. I so might I'm have two videos him. there. There's yeah. one talking about, ah, both are talking about the, the wine auction. I'm pretty sure, but I can't be 100% positive. <laughs> um, I even I, uh, you know why? Because I'd see your Instagram stuff before I, yeah. I'd see the other yeah. stuff, right? Yeah, Instagram is the main, uh, main draw for me usually. So uh, Richie says, I found a Dusty of Ben Rick 20 for $89 two years ago. It, it is an amazing scotch, actually. There's some very nice reviews on it. On, well, on, uh, I'm not sure if they have bottom and bakes, do they? I don't think. Well, uh, a couple weird Ben Reichs down there. Too. There's I some really weird Ben Reichs. I can't even turn around. Just one about, just one about a wine auction three months ago. Yeah, Josh, Josh is going to get it together. Don't worry, man. I've seen this set up. He knows what he's doing. It just takes time. Just like me. My lives... Most of what I'm doing, I look back at and I'm like, oh, this stuff sucks. When you watch what Rob's doing, Mal Malta to Montreal, lots of them guys. Where? I think maybe 2008. I'm getting old here. Oh, yeah. This is, this is, um, so June 24th, 2008. Mm, beautiful. Wow, I don't that's know where I found want. this one. That's what people want. Something's been sitting in a personal collection. You know what? I think maybe I should take this back home. Hey, what do you guys think? Should I put this back in my bag and take it home? You've been drinking too much. <laughs> you think he'd let me get it of the door? Or not enough. There's three dogs in here. He'd tell them to attack me. They'd lick me to death, and I'd Boy, never get out of here. You better put that. snuggle you to you death. You better put that back in there, buddy. You want to try anything else? Is there anything else um, tickling your fancy? Oh. Open is irrelevant, by the way. It's a, Yeah, that's one of the things here, man. In my place, I'd be like, <gasps> no, crack that. Don't open it. Don't open it yet. Uh, I hide that stuff. I can't. Oh, I got a vault, man. The vault's here. 
It's not even. He hasn't even. Listen, you guys, there's stuff in here. I haven't even seen it all yet. No. But I've gotten the little flashes of it. There's a Glendronic 15 in here. Well, there's two Glendronic 15s in here. Yeah, one's a port. port Is finish. it open? No. None of those Glendronics are open. None of them? No. Nope. You guys, you got to see what's down in here, man. Mind showing us the decanters. Show me your decanters in the back. Oh, sure, buddy. Yeah. And you got a nice little uh, thing from Angel something or other. That one is lucky that it actually survived. I watched it fall. Yeah. Account. Is it crystal or just glass? Uh, this one's lead-free crystal. Lead-free crystal. Yeah. And this one's Bavarian crystal. I think. It was a gift. Nice. And uh, this is just one I usually use for, uh, for pouring up some port or something. And that was the whole deal behind these glasses. A lot of people don't realize that decanters were... So when somebody came to your house, you were showing them s something really fancy, right? It wasn't that you needed that. The bottle worked fine. Sure. But they were doing that and putting that in there to show people. Yep. They were showing off. Yep. It was Absolutely. a way to show off. Absolutely. I mean, nowadays we show off, well, we use social media. Yep. Man, what, the way uh, we I things. used to have about 20 probably different decanters. And then I started to realize that the bottles are beautiful in themselves. Yeah. You yeah. don't need to hide that. Yeah. And I literally sold everything except those three. Are you going to be Habiki? Habiki, uh, I got a 17 year old mini. Oh, no, but the Habiki glass itself? Get yourself oh, a Harmony. No. Uh, Wine and Beyond's got some, and uh, Dave at Cake and Quartz got some. The, har the same glass as a 17 year old. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I just killed it's a bottle of that not that long ago. Well, keep that bomb. That thing is phenomenal. The gone. No. Gone. You the psycho. Donkey. Donkey. You are the cycler. Donkey. I cannot I believe it. Gone, man. Julia wants a vintage one. The thing is, they have to be careful with Julia. This is all vintage. vintage. I bought this off a, a Scottish woman at a flea market in Edmonton who has a cottage up in the boonies woods that is Filled to the brim with crystal. Beautiful old antique crystal. What Julia, you if you want that one, take it. It's yours. Julia. Boom. Julia loves The square stuff. one. The other Full two props. are gifts. The square one, that's yours. Mm -hmm. Oh, Julia, we'll talk. Boom. I use it for my house whiskey, basically blind whiskey. What you have to be careful of is that if it actually has lead in it, you can't. Yeah. You don't want to leave it in there for a long period of time because you end up getting lead poison. It could leach, right? It could leach. It's I had an infinity bottle that I used to keep it in. Yeah. yeah. But you're saying that they're not they're lead free? Uh the square one. The square one's lead free. Yeah. And so two, I'm not sure. You can buy lead free stuff. I mean they're okay to use. If you're gonna have a party. Oh my god. <laughs> you can't give Julia something without her becoming so sentimental you wouldn't believe it. Hey man, she takes everything right to that heart. She's a tiny as a bird. Beautiful picture with that. Yeah. Then sit there for the rest of my life. Well, you know, Julie almost broke it. I was sitting here while he. Yeah. So there you go. And and, and what did you tell me right after that? What did you drop and oh. break? Do you want to tell everybody what you broke? Because everybody's got a broken bottle story. Okay. Folks, who's got a broken bottle story in the chat? We'll let brutal. Josh tell yours. You type yours in. It's brutal. It was, I found a Glenn Farkless 25 year old quarter cask in the old bottle. Okay, the slim bottle, like the 105. Yeah. And I, I, was, I had a bunch of whiskey at the sale in Edmonton. And I was like, <gasps> me and Kevin, Scotch whiskey hunter. I'm you didn't tell me that. You dropped that on an old yeah. bottle. That's at least yes. 10 years old. Oh, at the very like least. Like a 10 year old. But release. listen to this there's 37 year old casks that this customer bought from Glenn Farkless. Mm -hmm. Forgot about it and sold it back to Glenn Farkless. My theory is it dropped below the alcohol content of 40%, 37. So they add a 25 year old whiskey to it to bump up the alcohol content and they bottle it as the 25 year old quarter cask. Okay. Because there's 25 year old whiskey and 37 year old whiskey okay. in that bottle. So that's just my theory. That's the theory. Yes. And it's I, a know your whiskey theory. Yeah, there's theory there. Only. When you start your right? channel. Yeah. I got every lots once of theories, in a while, guys. Every once in a while. Whiskey you Wednesday. Have, that's my show. It's going to no, be coming. Soon. Whiskey Wednesday. But every once in a while, you should do a know your whiskey theory. 
Absolutely, I will. And yeah. this is one of them. That's one of them. Okay, so go ahead. I believe think? after it dipped down, they added the 25 year old, the quarter casks, both mm -hmm. were quarter casks. Yeah, yeah. And bumped it up, bottled it, and then sold it to the masses. Wow. That's my theory. And I was putting it, the crown jewel, my favorite bottle in my collection, putting it on the top. Didn't realize I had it too far up to the edge. <sighs> So the back of the shelf tipped forward, a McKellen Rare cask oh. fell to the ground, or almost to the ground. I reached out and I grabbed it and caught it. And as I did that, the Glen Farkless fell and I went to catch it, but I had a bottle in my hand. And I wish I just dropped the other one and caught it, but it fell to the ground and smashed into a million pieces. Oh my And I heaven. picked up a little piece of the bottom that had a little bit of liquid in it, no doubt, full of glass. And you took a sniff. I nosed it, and I drank it. Oh. And my man. heart, if it was a recording, you could pinpoint the exact second that oh. my heart broke. <laughs> oh, we need a moment of silence. Yeah, it was Just brutal. A Just a moment. brutal. Okay. Thank you. That's terrible. Thank you. Everybody. That was a rough. That's a Thank rough story. That's, that beats the Scotch Test Dummies dropping a, a bottle of Balvini ton. Absolutely. That beats but, it. You know. That beats it. I thought about it. The last 200 bottles burned. And this is just one bottle, man. My own stupid fault. Oh, oh man. Lesson learned. Costly lesson. So now you don't try to handle more than one bottle at a time? This was the last one. But it was I, I didn't have these inserts in my cabinet. So it was just two little pins. And the shelf was lodged on the pins. And oh, it's tipped cool. backwards, but now I have the. I'm I'm a big Glenn Farkless fan, guys. I'm going to show you something that he's got in there. I have a bottle of this at home, but this is this is at least I'd say now it's probably came out 12 years ago. Mm -hmm. You can still get the 105, but man, there was like a rat chewing on the end of your lid here. But this is uh, you hold this next to a new 105, and this is quite a bit darker in it's color, beautiful. right? And you got this for what? Just around 80 bucks. Wow. Yeah. So I, I I came upon a whole bunch. And the thing is, is it was out of a big conglomerate. And they don't know. They're just like, yeah, it's going far across 105. Who cares? Yep. And it's on the shelf with all the rest of them. Yep. That's right? where I'm finding those weird spring banks. Those yeah. old spring banks, man. Yeah. yeah. 2007 cast 450s and oh, stuff. Yeah. That's, that's phenomenal 105. That's the 105 1800, you want to get. Weird. That is, man. As far it as is, I'm concerned, that's a different. It is reason. different. What about broken corks or pieces of cork falling into the bottle? Well, I keep my corks. It's just something I do. <laughs> yeah, you know what? I I don't have that many, but I have eh, probably about half of that. That's, I keep uh, them. And everyone moved into the new place where we're renting. Over there. Oh yeah? yeah, I throw them in the water every once in a while. Soak them. Some of those are synthetic and some are real. Yeah. Yeah. But I soak them every once in a while just to keep them around in case I do have a broken cork. I then I have them something all to put them in. Yeah. Yeah, I switch them out all the time. Yeah, I've I, I've only had a Glen Farkless. Uh, I do remember having Glen Farkless cork problems. Yeah, so well, Julia was helping me, and and I was recording, blogging all my whiskey that I got because I had a bunch because I've been away for three months, mm -hmm. and now I'm gonna be away for at least probably another month, I guess. But now you know where I live. Now I know where he lives. So yeah. guess what? Dram time. I'll leave a couple bottles here and then I'll be, I'll be like, I need I need to get your wife's phone number so I can text her. Hey, can I come over? <laughs> oh, buddy, buddy, the 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 uh, doormat says cops knock, man. <laughs> there you go, cops knock. Cops knock. I'm not a cop. Nope. Never have been. Um yes, I agree with whiskey in the six. That is an awesome lie. So what what we were just said by whiskey in the six is that you and I should do a tandem. So that's similar to what whiskey um scotch and sniff and drinking caveman i always have to make sure i say drinking caveman and not the other caveman um, drinking caveman drinking caveman is charles yeah I see whiskey. That so they do yeah. together they do whiskey well he knows you he knew you he was just asking you questions charles yeah yeah i've seen him on yeah Instagram. so you have scotch and sniff drinking caveman and together they do whiskey untitled on youtube okay scotch and sniff whiskey. Ew. Scotch new and Sniff is new to you, yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah. He, he, I think, I think this year is the first year they ever met each other. They were doing this to show together without. They do a little show. Yeah, Whiskey Untitled. Cool. And it's and, and they're on YouTube. 
Yeah, on YouTube. They're short and very brief. They always have a specific topic, and they do a oh, great job. Oh, I've seen, uh, I've seen that advertised on yeah. Instagram. Too. And they use, they one use, topic, and people were voting. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if we were going to do that, we'd need to do a slightly different – I'd have to learn how to use OSB, which is a different program. Mm -hmm. So they split their screen so you can see both of them at the same time talking. That's what I would like. I yeah. would prefer something. So you got to learn how to use OSB is the program. Right. Cool. I got this a is through Google Hangouts. Uh, help me with that. That's all you need. Slowly, yeah. Yeah. slow and learn. Don't rush. Yeah. You're gonna hate your first videos. Talk to any of the guys that have been video video bloggers and and whatnot. Everything you did in the beginning sucks. I'm right? looking to learn. Really, like sure. Instagram was a huge. I don't think there is one Fort McMurray blogger or vlogger. V L O, vlogger. So for whiskey, yeah, not, not not whiskey anything. A vlogger is a vlogger, right? Sorry, that's the dog. Hey, stop dominating okay. each other. Come here, Max. Max is such a cute little puppy. Yeah. Yes, whiskey and titles. There, it's O B S. Oh, I, I, mean, I was saying it wrong. Yeah, O B S. Oh, boy, I don't even know. Uh, are we pouring something else, else or are we all right we'll have one more okay, we'll have first one. first of all before you even do that yeah. bring those three japanese oh. bottles over and tell everybody about them this weird stuff man this you, you were in japan no no decanter mm. this is a little weird i don't know <laughs> i don't even know you hold them up in the front of yeah, that yeah let's go tell me how you hold them in front of these they're japanese whiskeys they're little samples you're showing them Josh has got his Instagram going too. There's one. That I can see that it's so who who's it put out by? It's a little hard. To, it glares it's, a bit. It's Chiro's malt. It's Chiro's malt. Yeah. Chiro's malt. This one's the double distilleries. Double distillers. A Chiro's malt. Is that part of Suntory or is it separate oh, from Suntory? Man, most likely, but it's all in Japanese. So oh, I mean, yeah. Like so is my Hibiki 17 year old. Yeah. It's this all is, in uh, Japanese. Um, Chichuru. Ah, uh, whiskey, whiskey, Chichuru, uh, whis whiskey and title nose. It's churros. I don't think I've ever seen those in any store I've ever been to. Right? That's awesome, man. Gorgeous. That is. Uh, Whiskey Quest says, I keep my corks too, planning on framing them. Oh, yes, there is some phenomenal artwork done out there with with uh, uh, bottle corks, wine corks, any of the corks. Right now, I'm petting this cute little, I think he's a golden retriever. He's a little bit of a mutt. His name's Max. Hey, Max. We're Max, overwhelmed with glassware and bottles. Man, I have never seen anything. <laughs> Buddy, I want you, you to decide on something. What do you got for independent bottlers over there? Oh, that's downstairs in the vaults. This oh. is just spring bank. Oh, that's all spring bank. Yeah. Independent bottle of spring bank. Oh, this you is like society bottle. Get out of here. Long road. You're a mean stuff. bully. You're a little short, snubby bully. That's what you are. Weird stuff. Ah, <laughs> yes. I got um, 100 proof. Nope. We got, we got dog. 19 year old spring bank. What do you get? How, what's your rare spring bank you got? Show me the yeah, malt cask. Show me the malt cask. We're not going to open it because that's probably one of them. Yeah, there's a nice Springbank Distillery, 15 year old from Old Malt Cask. That's pretty rare. Man, you have other animals in here. Oh, yeah, that's a chinchilla. A, these ones, these this are is, old it's ones. like a zoo. Long row 18. I'm yeah. very jealous too, man. I, I mean, I thought I had, I was doing all right, but look at this. Look at this guy. What he's got here. 14. He's an 18 year old in long grow man swami is gonna be so sad that he left already you guys gotta let him know what are we using for a camera it's um this is a logitech i forget what it's called now a 920 logitech 920 my man Ten. whoa 100 proof age 10 yeah see it's these guys that have ruined my game I used to get tons of stuff, and then he came along and made minions out of these other guys. Scotch Whiskey Hunter, the Sniper. But, I mean, the Sniper's been pretty generous to me, too, right? Yeah, he's a cool cat. He's a cool cat. He is a cool cat, yeah. Man, what do you got? So, what do you got? What do you got? What is just dope? random spring man. I know, you just grab random stuff. I really have a heart. You know what? i got to show them these two Glenn Farquhar's. Now, so describe to us what you're ordering and how you're ordering and how it works in Alberta. Okay. Let's describe that. In Alberta, it's 
incredibly easy to get whiskey imported from other countries if you go through the right channels. Right. So with this one, I ordered it from the whiskey barrel, and it just showcases the passion of Glen Farco stuff, showcases the springs they use. And I order through them. They contact DHL. DHL sends it, ships it to Alberta receiving. Yeah. Um, what happens next is customs emails me. Yeah. It says, you know, how much percentage of alcohol, what size bottles. There you go. And then they send me a number. They say, this is how much you got to pay to import this bottle of whiskey. Right. Because we a, are allowed in Alberta. Alberta. We can import... Uh, 45 liters every 90 days for personal consumption. Every three months. Yep. yep. For personal consumption. That's the magic word you've got to tell your lawyer, personal consumption. I have a very good lawyer, and it is for personal consumption. <laughs> so there you go. <laughs> I don't know what you're saying. <laughs> Whiskey in the six. Jealous until he has every single bottle. You know what? I got to – can I do this here? Come on, Pope. Whiskey in the six. I'm going to see if I can invite you on the show. Are you ready to come on the show here for a second? Are you okay with that, uh, Josh? Absolutely. I'm going to invite you. You're been invited. It's up please, to you, buddy. Please do. Okay. So you want to open one of these, do you? Oh no, 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 no! I couldn't. I couldn't. I couldn't. <laughs> you want to though? <laughs> what was this one? Did spring. I say I didn't want to? Boom! Spring. Look at that. So you just ordered that through. The whiskey barrel. The whiskey barrel. Hear that? Oh my heavenly lord! There it is, man. So which one's this? Whiskey's nothing till it's consumed. This is spring. Whiskey is nothing till it's consumed. That is. Look at this cute little face down here. Hi, Max. You're a pretty little puppy. Yeah. Do you like whiskey? You just like pets. Yeah, you're a pretty puppy. I didn't even ask you if you want to open the passion of the spring. I don't care which one. I just opened open, it. I love. Hand. I've met George. S. Grant. Me too. He's a cool and cat. He is a cool cat. He's got some weird stories. And yeah. he 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 when likes they started paying taxes to the English. Yeah. Know. And 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 a story about getting arrested almost in an airport because he had a ski jacket with a bunch of peat rolled up in it. <laughs> and it, I think it was in Japan. Oh man, that seems you seen that one? Very it was in Asia somewhere, and they opened up the ski jacket, and it's got a big <coughs> wall of, of peat in it. And they're like, "What is this?" <laughs> oh, he had a hard time explaining that one. What I like to do, folks. Oh my god! Just make a little man. cup in my hand. And, oh, and that is it. that is an awesome idea, man. Just roll it. I like to get it up around That's a little awesome. bit. Some get out of here. What's the little beagle's name? That's Molly. Molly, you're a bossy little bitch. <laughs> Leave That's Max the, alone. Max must be older, eh? Oh, three, here comes Molly. She'll, she'll get up Look in, at, in on your shoulder. Like she'll be. Oh, on Molly's her. cute. Hey. Molly, come here. I'll let her come on my shoulder on camera. You can see. Molly, come on. Come on up. Come on. You want to come all the way up? Oh, Molly is just a big. Oh, you're a big hound, Molly. Yep. Oh, she'll Molly. stay there for the rest of her life. Oh. That's my buddy uh, Rob's dog. Oh, is it? Well, Rob's got a nice dog, but when she drinking water, your ears get in there, Molly. Yep. yep. Yes, your ears get right yep. into the freaking water. See? Awesome. Max you are is a big boy, suck, too. and so is Max. Max just curled up in front of my feet. Molly, I don't want your tongue. Julie is going to get jealous, Molly. I don't know if the people have noticed, but I usually rip the label, the top label off. Yeah. Unless it's really nice. Okay, Molly. Yeah. I like yeah. to see the corn you, sometimes. Ooh, you are one solid little beagle. This one I think ooh. would look better. That's enough of my dogs. With no label here. The limit in Ontario was zero liters. Go, <laughs> <laughs> Peter White. Zero liters. Peter White is actually one of the most awesome guys in the chats. Didn't get anything whiskey. What do you mean didn't get anything? Those are the Glen Farquhar's with cool labels. Yes, they are. And I have just knows this one. I'm just waiting for Molly to leave my nostrils. She had a little dog on her. Imagine how fun it would be to look at this whiskey all day. Oh, huh? I would. To look at it's it. It's beautiful. And now. Look at the color on it. And I don't know even why they put it in a dark barrel. But look at the oil. Look at the legs on that thing. Beautiful, man. So does it have a year? Is it anything nope. on there? No, nope. it's just to celebrate the um, this is wicked, the boys. water. One Farkless uses the spirit of independence. It's matured shared. Can you guys see that? Look at that. 
This is an Instagram moment right here. Instagram moments. Your girlfriend is here. Which girlfriend? Julia. I got to take a picture of this. My Instagram went because my battery died. That's all right. They're still going to get a full show on there, man. Um, I got to take a picture of that now. And that. See, we can do Instagram and do a live at the same time. Oh, that is awesome, man. What do you mean Whiskey in the Six didn't get anything? What are you talking about? That is, that is, oh yeah, you get that. Man, uh, it sounds good, right? Oh, the sherry on this is phenomenal. Yeah, it's not. It's uh, a lot fresher. Yeah, I was going to say, it's not what you're no. maybe thinking with that dank sherry. It's not even that kind of smooth sherry. It's that, uh, I don't know, jumpy. Sherry. Jumpy Sherry. Yeah, it's like this. Mm. Josh, Josh, your channel is going to be awesome, man. Jumpy Sherry. Man, whiskey tells you a story. Because I man. am not once have we smelt marzipan. No? <laughs> you know what? I have. And I can't remember what that's, it was now. It's that's my poster. What's your most disliked tasting note or, or nosing note? Disliked. Yeah. <sighs> I don't know. Mine is marzipan. Marzipan. And I, it's not because I dislike marzipan. It's because some of the people that have actually used the term marzipan, I'm 100% sure they were just picking it up, pulling somewhere. crap out of their ass and throwing it out there. Well, I had a truffle, a marzipan truffle. But that's a big so, difference to just marzipan. Oh, sure. It's not that pungent yeah. sharpness. But it's a truffle. But I had it in a truffle. Num, num, num. Like, mm, you know, get it in my face. Yeah. And I can't remember what I was drinking. I think it was a Gondronic for some reason. And I tasted marzipan after. But it was only because I think it may have been fresh in my mind. But that's all whiskey is, right? Yes. There's no vanilla added to the whiskey. No. You know what I mean? No, it's a memory. Almost. Yeah, there's it's no like nuts some, put in there. It's there's just, lots of times people say things. I'm like, it's just what it reminds you of. The first time I heard someone use sulfur, I'm like, sulfur? Mm -hmm. I've I had to throw my clothes out from working in areas sure, that had sulfur because sure. that's sulfur. You can wash it a hundred times. Every time you take it out, it's gonna smell like sulfur. And it's it's different from the whiskey. Get it in my face. Huh? Urine on the Deanston twenties. <laughs> Man, Santa Cruz and you have missed um mm. I'd say quite a bit, my friend. Man, that is good. I did not expect to go this long, but I have never had more fun. I think we're having fun. We're in Fort McMurray, Santa Cruz. And we're at Josh, which is Know Your Whiskey. Uh, if you haven't found him yet, find him. Know Your Whiskey. And he, he you can see behind me, this is just a touch of his collection. I'm up here to go to work, and I have to go into a camp. And I'm not uh, it's a dry, dry camp. camp. It's a dry camp. camp. And so I thought... We, I brought up a couple bottles. I said, can you hold on to these? Which I'm sure, you know, they'll... I don't mind. They'll, they'll, he don't mind at all. No. We just go into the collection. I, I might forget which ones are which, but he yep. is. He just opened this Glen Farkless Springs for me. He's, he's one of the more generous guys you'll ever meet. Hey, life is short and terrifying, man. And, and, and Santa Cruz is a very generous guy, too. Cheers to you, buddy. I don't know how Santa didn't get an invite, man. Marzipan is in a lot of German stuff, so I've tried it a lot, sadly. <laughs> I don't like have anything against Marzipan. I just think it was one of the most overused things. Look this at is. candy e. Talking about German, there's a whole lot of German writing on the back of this. Yeah. Yeah, the spirit of independence. Ich verberge mit, mit Furdei. Hohe. Oh, man, I don't know how to say that. Those it's all German in the in back. Too. Hey, get your nose in there. Oh, yeah, don't be afraid. Eh? And I always want to know, folks, if you could please comment, tell me what you're drinking. Yep. I want to know what's in your glass. Peter Peter White, it is 46 ABV. 
This one has like uh, stone almost, like kind of granite ish. Like, yeah, like a wet rock, you mean? Type yeah, of thing? yeah. What's going on over there? Oh, oh those hey. dogs are rustled up. Nice. I think I think Max wants to be left. Max, you tell that beagle to we'll leave you alone. Yeah, you're a good boy. We got a little we got a little disturbance over here. Minor. That's okay, Max. You good puppies. You good puppies. Oh, you like that? Oh, scratching them in the right spot. Julia does that to me all the time. Scratches me in the right spot. Stinking Sierra North single barrel Mexican whiskey. That's what Whiskey Quest is drinking. You try that. You gotta check his. Uh, he does some pretty neat little reviews there. Who's that? Whiskey Quest. Whiskey Quest. He is drinking Sierra Norte Single Barrel Mexican Whiskey. Mm. They spell whiskey with an E in Mexico. Yes. Damn it. There's an E. Why were they name? were they settled by Irish people that spelled it the wrong way? Places that have an E in their name. Uh, yeah, yeah. The country name spell whiskey with an E. Ireland, E. Mm -hmm. United States, E. Right. Uh, Japan, no E. Canada, no E. Scotland, no E. No E in the country spell. But I think legend um, has it. Legend has it. Legend whiskey. only. Though. Whiskey cast actually puts it very bluntly. Bluntly, they spelt it wrong. <laughs> That's all he says. Ah, yes, Sierra Cue Norte, Sierra Norte, Mexican whiskey. That would be interesting. That would be. Mm, that's lovely. I know, man. I am so impressed. No age in this. Scene. No, it's lovely. Yeah. Oh, that's a nice. That's that's a, that's a that's a unique. It's a it's it's just a. The sherry is just simple. It's not. Yep. I'm that's not, what I mean. It's not in your face. It's kind of jumpy. Yeah, well, I don't even know about jumpy. It's just, it's just sherry. It's not it's inviting. earthy sherry. It's not oaky sherry. It's just sherry. It's like a spring and not a waterfall. Wow, this is phenomenal. I agree. I thank you very much, my friend. Oh, my absolute pleasure. That is great. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Well, this has to be my last dram because I have to drive to camp. Last dram. We've been having real tiny drams. Mm. They're tiny, but I still got to go to camp and haul all my stuff into the room. Mm -hmm. My fortunate way is they'll probably give me the room the farthest away from the parking lot. So it's hard to find. Well, we'll find it. I think this was a successful tasting. It has been a phenomenal tasting. Yep. It, there's no no doubt in my mind that success has nothing to do with this delish so you've now been influenced by youtube you've met you know some of these guys from uh yep, i do you know richie you know santa cruzan or or uh now i'm gonna forget your instagram name no Uber to the camp. Well, there might be actually no Uber in Portland. There's no Uber, but there are taxi drivers. But it is a fortune. That that is. Um, I know because I worked in the position where we had to pay for the taxi from the airport, and it was almost as expensive as the flight to fly people here. Um, Santa Cruz and look him up if you haven't seen him on Santa Cruz and yeah. Um, but a slightly different name. S C L is it Master? Dram Master? Oh why yeah, S C L oh Santa Cruz, but it's S C Malt Master. You should see some of the pictures he posted. S C Malt Master. Yeah, S C Malt Master, Chris. There he is. Phenomenal stuff. Santa Cruz. He gets on there. Richie's got some pretty cool stuff, especially on Facebook. We did taste some very nice stuff. Thank you, Richie. It was great. People are sending me their tags on Instagram. Are they? Awesome. Thank you. That is the best. Thank you, guys. You guys can send me some tags on Instagram. Make sure I've got y'all. Um, good. Well, guys, it was a very successful live. 
Think Malt so. Master, trust me, I tried to get Santa Cruz and somebody already got it. Don't worry. That's why I call myself on Instagram whiskey for my motorcycle because somebody already took whiskey throttle and they don't even use it. You can change it. Oh, right now he can change it forever. Okay, you'll show me after how yes. to change it. Yes. Yeah. I, if you're in it, it will take literally two seconds when you're ready. Okay. Yep. You show me. Easy. Um, easy. What it is? Well, we gotta say, say cheers to somebody. We finished everything. Well, Here, we'll go back to the first class. Okay. What were we drinking in that glass? Does it, it matter? It, it don't matter. Pour another Muse. Muse. Love the Muse. Yeah, man. I didn't bring that up here just to watch you look at it. All right, buddy. We're gonna have a little more Muse. I've watched the show before, Robs. Good seeing all the guys in the chat. Drive carefully. I will drive very careful. Don't you worry, guys. I'm not going to jump right in the truck and take off here, I promise. No, man. Thank you very much for having me, Josh. My pleasure. Thank your wife as well for being very Absolutely. tolerant. Absolutely. All you guys out there. Cheers to you, folks. Th cheers very much. Thank you for joining us. Keep yep. your eye out for Know Your Whiskey on YouTube. And his phenomenal collection. We haven't even touched what he has in his collection, honest to goodness. Number one quote from Josh is, it's not whiskey until you've tasted it. Absolutely. Whiskey is nothing until it's consumed, folks. It's nothing until it's consumed. There you go. Cheers to you. Cheers, everybody. Salancha. Thank you very much.